so far for Norway. So to the four by 100 meters relay final, Great Britain featuring in the fifth lane, but there's the full lineup. France drawn in lane one, Brazil in two, Nigeria three, Ghana four, Great Britain in five, Cuba six, Spain seven, and Canada, the defending champions in lane eight. Well, the British team, it's a different lineup in each round, but we'll go through each of the starting uh, lineups. There's the French team, 38.71 in the semi-final. Abanga, fourth in the Olympic long jump uh, championship last season. He takes the first leg. The French have had some good performances over the years in uh, four by 100 meters relay. They were world record holders at one time, around 1990. It'll be Kranz, Kenna Hervé and Calais. Calais, the French champion, will take the baton in. The Brazilians, well, they set a South American record in the semi-final, 38.17, Vincente de Lima. It's only 20, best of 10.43 on the flat. He'll hand to Claudine de Silva, who got a bronze medal in the 200 meters, just down on Frankie Fredericks. To do another Robson de Silva and then Ribeira. This is Nigeria and Osmond Nzinwa. He'll hand to Adonayakin, then to Obikwelu, the world junior champion last season, then Davidson Nzinwa. Sub 10 second, uh, fourth leg runner. The Ghanaians, 38.12 in the semi final. That was a national record for them. This is uh, Abu Dua, only 19. From Kansa to Zakari to Emmanuel Tufor who was the Ghanaian record holder at 10.07, but that was a time set in 1994. Well, Darren Braithwaite, the Haringey athlete, has been given the job of getting the baton from the blocks to Darren Campbell. And then Doug Walker's been brought in for the third leg with a good uh, bend he ran in the 200 metres. He got to the semi-final and ran his best of 20.49. And Julian Golding, who's running well, brings the baton home. The Cubans, Alfredo Garcia, the Cuban 200 metre champion, is their start-off man. Then Ortiz. Dan Garcia, fourth in the 200 here, and Perez, they're a strong side. The Spanish, Plutos Feo, Spanish 100 meters champion, then Jose, then Mayreo, and Berlanga. National record two in the qualification. Robert Esme, the 25 year old Canadian 200 meter champion, leads off for Canada. Glenroy Gilbert, Bruni Surin, and Donovan Bailey. They're the defending champions, they're the Olympic champions, it's exactly the same team. Well, an opportunity for Britain if all goes well. 38-25 in qualification. And let's just hope that the change in the British lineup hasn't interfered with things. Darren Braithwaite, he takes the first uh, leg. He hands to Darren Campbell. Just obscured from view there, unfortunately, coached by Linford. And then on the third leg is Doug Walker. And then on the fourth leg, uh, Julian Golding, the Blackheath Harrier, European champion under 23 over 200 meters this season. I tell you, he really ran well in the last uh, two rounds. He really did. So it's uh, a final. And uh, Braithwaite's job is to be consistent and to get that baton round the bend with some speed. France, Brazil, Nigeria, Ghana, Estimate. Great Britain, Cuba, Spain, Canada. The final of the 4 by 100 meters relay. And Braithwaite's gone well. He's already up on Garcia. It's a good run by Braithwaite. And the Canadians, Robert Esme on the outside, gone well. Now then, the British baton change is not bad at all. The Canadians are away. And Great Britain in medal contention at the moment. The Brazilians going well on the inside. And so are the... And so are the Nigerians, and the Nigerians there taking the baton, and Britain running well at the moment. Doug Walker's got it, and he's had a super bend, and Britain in contention at the moment. If only Julian Golden can hold on, and right on the inside, the Nigerians going well, and the Canadians going well, and the Nigerians coming through in the lead at the moment. The Canadians went through. Donovan Bailey's coming through. Bailey comes through. Nigeria second, and it may have got, may have got. It was very close to bronze. It may be. It could be four. It was very close. But the Canadians showed such tremendous class overall. And when it came to it, Donovan Bailey, the world silver medalist, the reigning Olympic champion, took them over. Well, let's have a look at this down the... Let's have a look. Now, did Golding get through? Certainly Bailey brought the Canadians past the Nigerians. Davidson in Zinwa was run down. Now, did the Cuban hold off 
Julian Golding, did he? Golding was really working hard at the end. Well, it's very close, and that's down to a photograph, but he may have got it. We just don't know. We'll have to wait. It doesn't get much closer than that for a medal. And Britain have got the bronze medal, and that is superb. It's just come up on the computer, 38.14, and Cuba 38.15, and Julian Golding doesn't know yet. And there'll be a little celebration in a minute. Yes, he says, I've got it. And there's the bronze medal. Well, Dwayne Chambers ran in the semi-final and Marlon Devonish in the heat. And I have to say that that was brilliant. The British quartet performed so well. And down the back straight, we got to Darren Campbell. He really motored, and the handover to Doug Walker was superb, and Walker's bend was exceptional. He was right up on Garcia. Remember, Garcia was fourth in the 200, and he went past him. And Golding was, what, in about fourth place here. And the youngster, way behind, the Nigerian uh, in Zinwa was ahead until the Olympic champion took over, and Donovan Bailey and Canada retained their world title. It really was something. Nigeria, get the silver, and this quartet, Big, big smiles. I thought they'd got it, but it was so close. And they have got it by one one hundredth of a second over a very fine Cuban team. Brilliant, brilliant run. Braithwaite, Campbell, Walker and Golding, a British quartet that have brought British relay running back into the realms of credibility. But this team is so credible. World champions in 1995, Olympic champions in 1996, and now world champions again in 1997. This is a class act. It wasn't totally convincing in the semi-final. There were a couple of fumbles. But the team, the British team, Look at those smiles. There's some youngsters in there, you know. Walker, Golding's only 22. Walker's 24 now. Campbell, 23. And that was superb. Let's just have a look. Well, Darren Braithwaite's had his problems in the past in relays, but this certainly looks to be his position. And look at the way that he ran down Alfredo Garcia, the Cuban 200 meter champion, and he did run him down. It looks to be a good extended change between Braithwaite and Campbell. His shout for him there, beautiful and precise. And away goes Darren Campbell. And the Cuban is run down again. Look at this, the second of the Cubans. That's Ortiz outside him being run down. The Canadians are running well on the outside, of course, and the Nigerians going brilliantly. Now, this is where Walker takes it. It's safe. Takes it with his right, it's an alternate change, left to right. Now watch this for a piece of bend running. The Cubans are very much in contention for medals here. And Garcia versus Walker. And Walker will remember these games, 2049, a personal best in the 200. It all came from a fabulous bend. And here we had another bend, look at the shout, get your hand out. It's out, it's safe, and Golding's away. And at this stage he's not in bronze medal position, but he fights. And this young man has matured. This young man has come of age. And this young man brings Britain home to bronze. Devonish and Chambers, the Chambers incidentally, the world junior record holder in the British team, as they ran in the previous rounds, will also get medals, and that's great. Canada, 37.86. Brilliant run by the Olympic champions. They take gold again. Nigeria promised much in the semi-final, delivered in the final, 38.07, and Great Britain, 38.14, took the bronze from Cuba by one one-hundredth of a second. And there is all the evidence you need. Golding, a lovely lean, a beautiful lean, to out-lean Louis Perez, the Cuban. Well, and by the way, make a note of this, the 10 was. to 7 British time. We've got the 4x400 men's relay final, 6.50 British time, underline that. The British team will be the side that got the silver medal in the Olympic Games. We don't know the order yet, but the four, Thomas, Balsh, Black and Richardson. But uh, Michael Johnson has told us that he's not running. He doesn't go for America. They expected him to go, but he said no. And the American team will be Jerome Young, Pettigrew on the second leg, Chris Jones on the third, 
and Washington, the, the uh, World Championship silver medalist on the fourth. So it's Britain versus America on paper in the final of the 4x400 at 10 to 7 British time.